yesterday and I thought you might like it. It was taken about the time when I was the same age that you are now. It was a different world then. I was the eldest of six children. My father had been gassed in World War I and was pretty seriously handicapped. So as the eldest of the family, my responsibilities came rather earlier than most. And in retrospect, I think it was a good thing. I grew up a little faster. I had a lot of responsibilities, and my parents appreciated what I did, and it was good. And my responsibilities were several. In those days, we didn't have electricity. We didn't have running water. And as a result, we had to do things rather differently. Because we didn't have uh, electricity, we had wood stoves. And I cut the wood for the stoves and carried it in, of course, and uh, did all the other things connected with that. Uh, running water, just carried it in from a, a cistern out the back. And as far as our refrigeration, it was an ice box. And the ice I cut in the lake during the winter time, got it hauled up to an ice house in our backyard. And during the warm season, I cut blocks of ice for our house and for our summer cottages. And one thing I didn't mention is that we didn't have a bathroom in the house. We had a wee house perched over a hole in the backyard. And I dug the hole by hand. Didn't seem like a big deal. Worked. <laughs> one of the things we didn't seem to have, maybe it was because we didn't have much money, but we didn't have toilet paper. So the Simpsons and the Eden's catalogs, where we got our paper from, <laughs> When you got down to the smooth pages in the book, you folded a certain amount, a couple of pages up, put them in your back pocket. Two or three days later, they were ready to be used. <laughs> <laughs> Living by the lake was the most fortunate in my case. We had fishing, we had swimming, hunting in the fall. We even had a golf course, and we had all the other sports. It was. Great. I, I love the place. We're for, more fortunate than most. Anyway, a lot of this stuff must sound kind of foolish to you. But uh, there you are. Life was different then. But it was pretty good. And uh, so I'll see you hopefully next week. Love, Crackle.